What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage, and today I am at a hobby store that I haven't been to in a while. They have moved from the one location, now they're over here, and check this place out. RC Car World. So this is where they're located in Cinnaminson, New Jersey. Um, I don't even remember the last time that I came to this place and it's been a while. They, this place now, their new location that they have, it is huge. I mean, check this out. They got a whole outdoor track that you can come out and race your cars with. Um, I mean, check this out. This place is just huge. I think they have more something else back there. But the best part about this place is they got an indoor track. You guys got to check this out. Let's go on inside and check this place out. Let's go. This place right in here is where they repair all the cars people bring in. The repair shop here. And they got a whole bunch of stuff you guys see right here. They got the Slash Raptor R. You come in, you see all the stuff that they have here. Not only that, but that they have here guys, but check all this out up top. They have all this stuff up on top. They guys can see. And it just keeps going and going and going and going and going to me a frog and going and going and going and going it don't stop there guys again they keep going and going they have a whole bunch of selections that you guys can get here at rc car world and cinnamons and i just came from that way look they got all this here from floor to almost all the way up to the ceiling i love this color the TRX4 F-150, I love that. When the uh, TRX4M comes out, more than likely I want it in that color. And guys, it just keeps going from floor to ceiling. <clears throat> and parts, you guys need parts, they have everything. If they don't have it, they can order it, not an issue. RPM parts, hot racing parts, MST parts and you can see all the wheels sideways RC parts They got a whole bunch of stuff here guys Again RPM Proline HPI low C team associated Tamiya Tamaya, however you want to call it and Arma Whole bunch of stuff here guys Then you come in through here, and again, a whole bunch of stuff. They got boats in here. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Check all this out, everybody. TRX-6, like I said, they got a whole bunch of boats here. They got Rock Hobby FMS, Charisma. The Smasher version two. Look at that guy, that guy's cool. I like that guy. The Losey, son of a digger, Tex Max. And they got this one hiding right back here. H1 Hummer. And then this little cubby right here, whole bunch of stuff, guys. And check that out. It's a workout hauler. More parts right here. Now right here, they got a whole bunch of mini Z's. Check all this out, guys. 
whole bunch of mini Z's. Jiminy. Park. These things are awesome. You guys are looking for wheels and tires, they got it all. Look at all this. Dude, these tires are huge. Those things are huge. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This guy, I haven't seen that in a while, but check all this out, guys. They got it down here on the bottom, Creighton 8S. They got it sitting here, the 5T in the bottom there. Back here, you got bodies galore. If anybody's looking for bodies, they have bodies galore here. They also carry Biddy Design, Protoform, Proline bodies. And it just goes on and on. Hopefully you guys can hear that. That's the track they have upstairs. We are about to go up there and check that out. But I just wanted to come through here and show you guys what these guys have available. If anybody's looking for the uh, Toyota body, they got the high lift right there. They carry a whole bunch of stuff. Anybody looking for a Pacific body? I'm actually looking for one. I have a build that I'm going to be doing, and I'm looking for a Civic body. So that is the body that I'm going to be picking up. Not today, but I will be one of these days. And dude, guys, it just, again, bodies galore here. Killer bodies. They carry a whole bunch of stuff, guys. Whole bunch of stuff so let's go on upstairs look at that let's go on upstairs and check out the track hey puppy so here it is drifters and vetters stay longer than 30 minutes must sound waiver to entry rc car world right there second floor drift track but i got access so we'll close that. Come right on up here. Here you are, guys. Drift track they got. Even though this right here is the drift track right here, you got your pit that you're able to come out and do any modifications, anything, repairs that you got to do on your cars. You got your track right here. Then you also got more right back here, guys. I got to get a car and I got to come out here. But this is their drift track that they got. And that thing right there just Absolutely. All right, you guys, and there it is, RC Car World and Cinnamonson. Here is their location, Mike and Gia, Cinnamonson, 2305 Gary Road, Suite A. 
again i haven't been to uh <laughs> i haven't dealt with these guys in a long time so i figured since i was out this way that i would actually come out here and uh check this place out check out what the track looked like and everything again guys they have from this part right here well right there over that way and of course they got the outdoor track also so if you guys are around in cinnamons in new jersey come and check these guys out they got a whole bunch of stuff uh i also picked up something but i'm not going to show you guys what it is until i get home uh, it's nothing really huge but it's just something that i ended up picking up because i've been wanting to get it for a while there was actually two choices and i picked up one of the choices so again, guys, don't forget, check these guys out. RC Car World right there. Go check them out and come by, have some fun, go drifting. All right, you guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video of the Hobby Store RC Car World and I am hoping to go back there again. I gotta get a drift car uh, and try out that track. I mean, I'm gonna definitely gonna be new to drifting. So I haven't done any drifting at all. And um, yeah, so I definitely have to check that out and buy myself a drift car and head over there. So um, I did say that I bought something while I was there. Again, it wasn't anything too major, but I did buy something. And this is what I got. I got the new TRX4M utility trailer that I am gonna be hooking it up to my Bronco. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get some more um, hitches so I can be able to hook it up to the uh, FCX, the FCX 24 Blazer and uh, a couple of my other 18 scales. So I'm kind of hoping to be able to hook it up to that. And um, see what happens so here we are guys this thing looks pretty decent <laughs> this thing does look pretty cool I like it I'm actually glad that I did buy this thing uh, now I'm just hoping the hitch that comes with it so the hitch that comes with it as you guys can see is just gets screwed on to the back of the uh, Bronco Okay, yeah, it does just get screwed on to the back of it there. If you guys see right there, there's two little pieces right there. Like, Traxxas definitely had all this already sorted out what they were going to do. So, those little bits right here, that one and that one, that is where the hitch is going to get screwed onto. And this guy is going to be just swinging away in the back. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, again, Traxxas sends out the instruction manual for this thing. So like I said, I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to, um, I don't know if there's one for the FCX24, but um, if not, then I'll just get a couple more of these and hook them up to the back of the F. CX24, I can uh, make an adapter or something that can hook up into the back and I'll be able to screw on the uh, screw on this thing. Um, if not, I'll try Etsy. Etsy probably has somebody making the hitches for them. Uh, another thing is I am actually in the process of making myself a trailer. So, this was actually off of a Dodge, I forget what scale this is, but it's a bit, it's about a good size for uh, for an 18 scale trailer. So I actually started, I already cut it off, put these tires on there, those pr tires probably won't stay on there. Um, one thing I might end up doing is probably lower this whole bed, lower it some onto the chassis. I already have it all taken apart, as you guys can see. 
there you go. So it's all taken apart. I might end up um, lowering this some um, and get some smaller screws to hold it together. So that's gonna be um, that's another trailer that I am actually in the works on. So guys, that's where I am at right now. I'm gonna go ahead, take the body off of the Bronco, hook up this trailer, and uh, not well. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna <laughs> not really hook it up, but I'm gonna go put the hitch on, and um, I'm hoping that I can adjust the preload on the back of these things, on the back of the uh, Endura suspension that I have on there, so it can be able to handle the weight of this thing. And then in my next outing, I will take that guy out. So as you guys can see back right over here, I made. That's my first one that I made to have my cars all available and I just made this guy right here there's one space there the Bronco was right there there's my Kyosho and I have one guy that's all the way down at the bottom right there that's my very first basically first RC crawler and uh, I love that one <laughs> so guys hope you all enjoyed today's video Please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all keep RCing. Have a good one, everybody.